on this episode of Ugly Tent. That guy didn't make it. I brought the Hidden Woodsman pack. Let's take a look and see what's in it. Hi guys, Kenny with Ugly Tent. I'm out today after an ice storm. It uh, got pretty rough last night. The sound you hear is the fire departments with chainsaws clearing roads and, and uh, clearing debris so people can travel. Right now there's a road restriction. You can't actually, you're not supposed to get out of the roads unless it's uh, an emergency. But I wanted to get in a hike before they cleared up the roads and I had to go to work. So we're gonna do a little hike in the woods. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm in the suburbs. This is my local wooded area. You know, it's, it's uh, a small section behind the school. It's probably, I don't know, maybe five or six acres but um, it's really pretty and I wanted to share it with you and get a cup of coffee in our new cooksa that we carved. So, and I apologize if I talk funny because my mouth's frozen. It's 20 degrees out here and uh, my mouth's frozen and I'll uh, try to edit out some of the sniffles if I can. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy the video. It's like the only animals out here has been a deer and myself today. It's so pretty. I hope the camera uh, does it justice. I know it won't. You actually have to be here to appreciate it. <clears throat> but it is absolutely, it is beautiful out here. I had to shovel some snow and ice off the driveway. Oh, look, there's all kinds of trees down. This is nature's way of pruning, you know? All the weak ones fall. Here, let me show you. That guy didn't make it. <clears throat> uh, from over here. Yeah. You can see how pretty it is out here. And this is why I come out here. More limbs falling. Uh, I mean, you can see the houses. Like I said, I'm in the suburbs. But, you know, you need to find a place like this if you haven't got one already. Because getting out and doing this is very important. At least to me it is. It's therapeutic. <clears throat> so, if you haven't found you a place yet to get a quick hike in before work or after work or just to unwind or calm your mind, you need to do so. It doesn't matter if it's right next door or in your backyard. It, it doesn't matter. So I saw the fire truck go down the road earlier with the lights on and everything so I know that's them. I can hear them and I haven't seen a lot of shit, but I know this thing. So the bottom here, there's a little tiny pond. I mean, teeny tiny. But, something to look at. Here, still hear the chainsaws there. Really going at it there. Must have had a big tree fall. <clears throat> but usually, usually they're pretty quick about cleaning up, and I'll have it knocked out in no time. Here we go. Here's our pond. I brought the Hidden Woodsman pack. Let's take a look and see what's in it. Alright. So I brought Rick's chair. That's what I call it. This is just my little folding chair to keep my bum from getting cold and wet.
Got our Esbit stove. Our heavy cover canteen. Canteen cup. Cooksa. And one of my hand carved spoons. I think I made this one actually on another video in, in the woods. I forgot to bring a spoon, I made one. And a cup of coffee needs instant coffee. Folders. All right, let's get started. Of course, I keep my lighter in my pocket because you got to keep these things warm. Otherwise, they won't work. So now you can hear the chainsaws and the trains, but that's okay. We're in the woods. It's beautiful. We'll make the best of it, right? All right. I love my little Esbeth stove. I've had this thing for a very, very long time. As you can see, it's well worn. Well used. And it doesn't mind the cold. <clears throat> Whoa. Alcohol tabs. They don't mind the cold either. I got a little leaf pad in here too that I bring. This lives. That lives inside my haversack. Yeah, it does take a minute to get lit because <clears throat> these are the cheap ones. These are the cog ones. They're pretty cheap, so it takes a minute for them to get lit, but once they're lit, they do great. The other thing about getting out in this weather is to, to practice your cold weather survival skills. See what it's like to be out here, how things take longer, they're harder to do, there's just a lot more to it. You gotta stay hydrated even though it's cold. You don't think about it, but you still need plenty of liquids. Not just coffee. All right, we got her going now. coffee screaming hot I just want it nice and warm for me I like to see how much I can do with gloves with gloves on that's some really good comments on my cooksa Appreciate every every one of them. My last my video with cooks the carving. The heat. 
All right, so here it goes. Here goes the first drink from the Cooksa. Oh yeah, that's good. A lot of stuff falling. I'm guessing this holds probably four and a half, five ounces, which is not bad, you know. Yeah, it was Carolina Chris. He had a really good Carolina Chris had a really good comment on uh, hand carving, the way he put it about hand carving a cook set and drinking from a vessel that you made with your own hands. Just something about it. I'm gonna hike home and get some eggs and bacon, probably turkey bacon, but I'm beginning to like turkey bacon. It's not bad. Mm. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this in the future. Well, not bad. Turned out pretty good. I love it out here. My problem is going back. I don't want to leave.